The Senate committee set up to investigate oil lifting, theft and its impact on the petroleum production and revenue says Nigeria lost 1.3 trillion naira from January to August within the Niger Delta region. The chairman of the Senate committee on petroleum, Senator Appan Basi, made this known during a plenary on Tuesday, the 22nd of November 2022. Mr. President, I rise to move that this Senate do receive and consider the report of the ad hoc committee to investigate oil lifting, theft, and the impact on petroleum production and oil revenues. Mr. President, I so move. Speaking about its findings, the committee also made favorable statements about increased oil outputs and refinery production, with all ports like Focado's terminal producing 500,000 barrels per day, compared to zero production in the first six months of the year. The committee also made several recommendations to the House on how to reduce and minimize all theft, adding that the Bureau of Public Procurement should expedite all procurement processes for Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission to ensure the Commission's immediate deployment of an online monitoring system across all upstream oil and gas production platforms. NHPRC should fast track the upgrade, that's what we're talking about here, of the National Production Monitoring System to enable real-time monitoring of flow stations and terminal uh, activities. NGPRC should expedite the deployment and strict enforcement of the Advanced Cargo Oil Declaration Solution for, for dictation. Advanced Cargo Crude Oil, yes. Mm. Yes. To dictate for detection of mitigation of illegal movement of vessels to ensure adequate revenue generations and optimal crude oil accounting, thus enhancing revenue generation for the Federation. Despite the fact that the committee's report, which was adopted by the Senate in plenary, provided far-reaching recommendations for stopping the tide, it failed to name a single person or corporate organization responsible for the oil thefts. The Senate therefore recommended that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited avoid undermining the powers of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority.